Hey guys, so I'm going to do my August favourites for you. I uh, can't believe August is gone and we're into September already, but um, there we are. Um, so I'll just get straight into it and I'll show you what I've been loving. Oh, I've been loving my first thing is my new haircut. Um, it was one of those things where I was just like, one day I was just like, no, I need my hair cutting now. And so I, um, I went to get it done and I went to a different hairdresser because I couldn't get in with my normal hairdresser and I was quite nervous about what was going to happen but it was somebody my friend had recommended it was quite a trendy salon so um, I was okay and she knew exactly what I meant she knew exactly what would suit me and um, I love it the only thing is it was a bit shorter than I was planning but I still love it and um, my fringe maybe is a little bit short but I wanted a fringe cut back in a bit because um, it was getting really long and it was just, just starting to bug me. I, I couldn't hack growing it out. So this is my new first favourite of the uh, of the month. I've only had it done a week. Um, so yeah. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, I haven't tried to curl it yet, so I don't know if that's going to work. Um, it should do. I'm going to try it tomorrow. Um, it might be a bit wild, but we'll see if that'll work, I guess. So, um, yep, yeah, that's that um keeping on the hair theme um i absolutely love this um i've had a couple of these little um tester sizes of the philip kingsley elasticizer basically it's a pre shampoo uh shampoo or conditioner i suppose um you put it on to wet hair so you wet your hair then you put this on you like tie your hair back or something walk around the house for 20 minutes go and do something else um if you want a really intensive like treatment put a hair um like a shower cap on a plastic one and leave it for half an hour or so 20 minutes and then um shampoo it out and then condition as you would normally and carry on um it does wonderful things for your hair you don't need to do it very often maybe once a week once every couple of weeks um this little um, tester size, um, they do, Philip Kingsley does mini travel sizes and you get two of these in one of those little kits. Um, it's brilliant, it does what it says, it says adds elasticity, manageability, bounce and shine and it really really does that. Um, I had amazing bounce to my hair for a few days afterwards and it does last, it lasts for like a few washes afterwards so that that's good. Um, Another favourite this month, I've been majorly back into Dazzle Glasses. Um, it was basically after I spontaneously wore Eurobeat in my OPI video where I showed you my new nail varnishes. And I got loads of comments on it and actually um, I really enjoyed wearing it. Um, I'd forgotten how pretty they look and um, how much, how well they last. And these have been three of my favourites, um, Eurobeat utterly posh and moth to flame um, I'm going to maybe have a look at them um, travelling next week um, so there is a Mac counter at Stansted so I will look that up see if they have any more I know those ones were, I think were like limited editions but I think they have a permanent collection as well um, staying on the Mac theme um, I tried a couple of blushes I have um, a makeup bag full of blushes that I can't my everyday kind of blushes that stay in my everyday makeup bag and I was just rifling through it and I found these two um, that I haven't ever used and but I bought um, Daft Pink um, and Rhapsody in two and I've actually been using them as highlighters um, instead of blushes because actually I don't really feel they come out very well as blushes that's Rhapsody in two it's really nice like gold and peachy colour so I've been using that as a highlight and my daft pink has a big gold section just there and that works really well as a highlighter so I've been using that um, it kind of reminds me of the nectar shimmer brick when you put the whole when you sort of swirl it in and use it as your highlighter so that works I love that um, two eyeshadows from my palette um, I've absolutely been loving Patina. It's definitely been one I've worn every day, and I've been wearing it with re retrospect a lot. Um, 
that's like my everyday shadow look now it's what I've got on today but um then I've been using patina in the corner and satin taupe on the outside and it's a quite a nice sort of subtle almost smoky eye um really love that combo um then a couple of nail varnishes um I wore this for the first time the um Sephora brand nail polish in brownie um it wore very well really well didn't chip for a dark polish um I thought that was really good um got probably a week's wear out of it uh, maybe a little bit less before I took it off um, actually I only took it off because I tried some nail art on it and it didn't work out so that's the only reason I took it off um, looks great on short nails um, I don't know if you can get this under another name anywhere else but I got this one in France so I'm not really sure but definitely this colour at least you know this dark chocolate brown really loved it and it's not so dark that it looks black you can tell it's brown and then still on the nail varnish front, I'm just loving the um, Swiss collection from OPI. Um, still, in particular this one, Ski Till We Drop. Um, I just love that colour so much. Um, there's a couple of others that I want to get. Um, William Tell Me About It, which is that really dark kind of plummy purple and people have been messaging me and saying that um, Yodel Me On My Cell is a good colour as well actually um, it translates better on in real life than it does in pictures so um, that will be worth checking out then finally um, my absolute favourite thing of the month apart from my hair has been these Elemis um, Cellular Recovery Skin Bliss Capsules. Um, I, my skin loves like oils or balms. My face loves oils or balms, which is why I get on so well with the Declior Night Balm. I will never like go away from that. That will always be my go-to night product. Um, but as a boost, I got a little sample of some of these um, in a kit that I got a while ago from QVC, and. Um, I wasn't that impressed. I think my mum's used these for a while. This is actually her pot. I'm sorry, I've borrowed it because you've got loads of them and I've run out of my little tester pot version. Um, basically, you get um, two these little capsules. So the, the pink ones are rose um, essential oils and the green ones are lavender. You use the um, rose in the morning and the lavender at night now they are very rich I don't even think it recommends to do it every day no it doesn't say do it every day um, but it doesn't say don't do it every, every day but anyway I don't I probably do this once maybe twice a week um, and in particular it's the green capsules that I love um, the lavender just decongests my skin, it gives me a great glow in the morning. I cannot use the rose in the morning before my makeup, it's just too oily for me. But I have used them at night and it does, um, it, instead of um, decongesting your skin, it kind of um, um, moisturises any dry patches you might have. Um, so I highly recommend these. Um, that's £58 for this pot, but I think they'll go a long way. I mean, they have, um, um, they're all individual. One is a night's worth, um, and I only do it probably once, maybe twice a week, and only really if my skin Thanks needs Thanks for watching, it. guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.